Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have a special guest. We have Lauren from Plants in Yards. Hi. We have recorded already a video on her channel on how to make a Santeri C. So make sure to check down, down below in the description to go, go to her channel. Make sure to subscribe. I mean, if you are subscribed to this channel, you probably already subscribed to her. So. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we need is... Um, ah, it's here, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut it. The first thing we need. So yeah, so we just kind of want to have a here, um, relax, chatting around, just want to talk about tissue culture. So kind of one of my questions is like, um, how did you got started in tissue culture? So I've been selling plants on Etsy for the past five years or so. And I recently started to be able to do it actually full time. But I realized about like a year or two ago that if I really wanted it to be a scalable business that I need to be growing plants myself. I can't just be importing plants from overseas and selling them because anyone can do it. There's no barriers to entry. Um, there's a lot of risk when it comes to shipping plants that far because it takes a lot longer than normal when you're just shipping plants domestically in the United States. So I started researching about how nurseries or big growers are actually producing their plants and that kind of took me down the rabbit hole of tissue oh, culture. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I think I bought the flow hood like two years ago, but I didn't actually start doing... So, okay, so you actually bought the lamina flow hood before you even started doing tissue culture? Yeah, because I, I knew that was like the... I mean, I do some videos with like a still airbox on my channel. Right, yeah. My popular one was using a still airbox. Yeah, but uh, that has over 300,000 views now. So that's pretty impressive. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. Thank I mean, you. I've been like, I've been following you since before uh, you got like 100 subscribers. And now you, um, you have passed, what is it, 20,000 subscribers yeah, now? 20, yeah, 20,000. Yeah, congratulations. Thank yeah. you. So that, that's pretty awesome. I mean, this is uh, great for like the, I mean, just like, not just tissue court of all like the plant community because uh i mean you know you know what happened like in 2020 we have like covid and like the prices of plants it just kind of skyrocket so now now that we, there is a lot more information on tissue court there are a lot of people more interested on it so it's like uh as more people doing it we can see now the prices have yeah. gone down so well 2020 was when i was like making my bag on etsy because that's when okay. that's, that's when the thai yes. constellation was kind of like new and it was still mm -hmm. super expensive and yes. now they're like 50 dollars, maybe less i don't know what they sell for yeah you now. can you can find uh, and you can find them pretty much locally now yeah. which before it was probably just an an online thing so you can um at the same time you can also um thank us and also blame us now that you are like having your plan business that now the plans are a lot more uh, affordable now yeah well so, i think that's a good thing i always say like no one should be spending more than a hundred dollars on right. a plant and even that is still kind of expensive so the reason i do it is because i'm hoping that plants can become more accessible to people who collect them like myself and just really yeah. enjoy house plants right so kind of okay question what is your uh, like what is your more expensive plan or how much have you spent like one single plan oh god i so i regret this i bought a variegated banana i actually bought two of them about a year ago and like i made those, a uh, musa yeah okay. i made a video about it that flopped basically mm. it was just an unboxing video which i don't think people are really interested in watching anymore um but i think for those two plants plus another plant called musa sarawak which is like a okay. mint looking banana mm -hmm. yes. i think i paid like six hundred dollars oh, for wow. those three plants together and now the price of the variegated bananas has come down so much yes yes and i'm like i regret spending that i think the most i've ever spent on a single plant though i have two in mind i spent 350 dollars on a begonia called begonia Tamuyuk, I think, which is mm -hmm. like one of those blue mm -hmm. iridescent begonias, yes, which yes. I just posted on my story the other day because I need to get my money's worth out of this plant after okay. spending so it on it. Okay, so is this the the one that you have in tissue corridor? The, yes. the one, oh, okay. the metallic one. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's awesome. I want to get one of those. Oh, they're so sweet, but you have to grow them in a terrarium. So mm. it's kind of I feel silly when I grow terrarium plants sometimes because I live in Florida, which is like the best place. It's a terrarium in, in the United States to grow plants, and then I'm growing plants in a terrarium inside my home when I have like the outside yard to use. I originally bought them because I wanted to use them for tissue culture samples. Um, but then I injured myself 
and now I can't even take the samples. So this was the more expensive one. I'll show you the picture of what it was supposed to be. It's like literally that meme where it's like what I wanted versus what I got. This is what I wanted, okay? This is the pastels and this is what I got. Um, but I think the other plant that I also spent a ton of money on, and this was like in the past week, is I bought a sport of a pothos called the Colorado Constellation, which is just a pothos that basically has the variegation that looks like a Thai constellation monstera, okay. which right. is really cool. That's cool. But yeah, I'm hoping to put that into tissue culture, and I'm trying to buy more of them. And I was just messaging the guy actually on the way here because I'm trying to get him to send me five more, and he's like, five? And I'm like, yeah, five. Nice. If you can yeah. spare them. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think uh, as an individual plant, uh probably around the 600 range uh that what was, pro was it? it was a really rare uh, nepenthes so a carnivorous plant so uh some of my carnivorous plant people um may know like uh, i was back when it was like super super hot it was i think it was a nepenthes edwardsiana so you just call it like nepenthes eddy uh it's a really pretty plant i mean what? i will put like a maybe a picture over here it's an amazing looking plant what's special about it compared to like the normal it's it, a pitcher plant it's right? a pitcher plant yes What's uh, it was. It's, it, it, back in the day, it was really rare. Now people have it in tissue culture, so it's not as rare. So the value is like a. Uh, it has depreciated <laughs> quite a bit, um, but I I don't have the plant anymore, yeah. unfortunately. So that's I didn't I don't have like the climate to grow those plants. Uh, so my plant didn't make it, unfortunately. So no. Yeah, I think as a, as a group or group uh, order, I think uh, I did like an import. I would have spent like. Uh, and a half thousand dollars uh i i i it was a lot of plants um but again like a combination of like carnivorous plants because back in the day i was really in carnivorous plants which i'm still i'm so kind of one of my goals is to be able to kind of go back into the the carnivorous plant because i miss it even though i do love the the uh the house plants kind of my thing was the 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 carnivorous plant that's kind of what it got me into tissue culture have is there are carnivorous plants harder or easier than like a philodendron or monstera to tissue culture or about the, the same? So carnivorous plants, introducing carnivorous plants to tissue culture, way harder than, uh, let's say like... they're sensitive, right? Like they are very sensitive. Plants. So we, if we have right here, we have a, a, like, um, a philodendron, a Florida green, very easy plant, like super easy. We have a begonia right here super easy plant like african but super easy but carnivorous plants some are easy um like uh, i would say like pinguicula maybe some docera if you start with seeds if you start with leaves the leaves are super sensitive and super difficult to do it's definitely possible um back when i started doing tissue culture 13 years ago i can't believe it uh, i was pretty young i mean i'm still young uh, I was in high school when I started in tissue culture, so... How did you uh, find out about it in high school? Like a okay, lab, a so this is uh, kind, of, uh, my, uh, kind of my story of how I started on, on tissue culture. Just kind of long story short, uh, my sister gave me a Venus flight trap. Uh, just kind of one day one you get like a big box store, yeah. like, the, like the box that had the, a carnivorous plant. So it was a Venus flight trap and I, I was growing that plant and it was, it was doing great. And where the problem is that carnivorous plants, for the people who grow carnivorous plants, they, they will know they are one of the slowest plants to grow, like super, super slow. So it's like, a, how can I make them grow faster? Which is kind of, kind of similar to you, right? Yeah. Like uh, trying to, to grow more plants, right? And what I was just doing research and I found tissue culture. So, okay, what is tissue culture? Uh, it's like back in the day, um, all the results I found about tissue culture is that you need a lamina flow hood, you need like a, a very expensive uh, auto clay, a lab environment. And uh, I was like, whoa, I won't be able to do this. Um, but it's like, I was keep doing some research and then I found um, uh, like one video from uh, Bill Graham. Uh, he is kind of, uh, kind of the inspiration that I took uh, back in the day because that was kind of the only available uh, tissue culture uh, video. I mean, there was more people doing tissue culture, but I guess back in the day, tissue culture, whoever was doing tissue culture in like their, their home was like a very secret, it was very uh, secret about it. Uh, <laughs> so, they, because it was another thing with tissue culture, you can make a big business, right? Yeah. So people didn't want to 
review like yeah call it the like secrets right property. right 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 so Great he was secret. doing it and then the the video he he um he showed it was uh, doing it in use a plastic steel box <laughs> so he was doing it that uh in there he was using just kind of some um, um some bleach and some uh, alcohol and he was using sterilizing in the plants in the kitchen so i saw like oh this is possible so i kind of did a little bit more research and then I built um, a, a, a glove box or like a steel box so you just have a hose. I want to put a picture here of like my first lab. <laughs> um, it's a really like a sketchy lab. It's just, it was my first lab but it worked. So I was able to um, to go to get uh, Venus flight traps in culture. Okay. So I used some seeds, I sterilized some seeds and I was able to get in culture. Uh, from there, I started with some other plants like Nepenthes and some Droseras, uh, like Sondius, and I got like success on that. So from there, I turned my career into it. So back then, I, was, I wanted to be an engineer. Actually, I have a three years of uh, engineering background. Oh, really? and, uh, yeah, in electrical engineering. So, but when it was time for me to move to like, uh, I was in community college. But when it was time for me to move to four-year university, um, I applied for the University of Tennessee, and they require you because engineering is very competitive. Mm -hmm. So they require you to to add a secondary major. So I put electrical engineer as my first choice, and my second choice, you would think it would be like another kind of engineering, right? But I put plant science. Yeah. I put plant science on there uh, just because hey, I like I enjoy growing plants. It was kind of my hobby. Yeah. I was kind of making not much money, but just just a little bit in there. Just I mean, I was a high schooler or like just a early college, so it's like broke. So just a little bit of extra money I could get. So that was that was great. So I got accepted on both uh, engineering and plant science, but the first tour that I got was on the plant science department. And the um, University of Tennessee has one of the best biotechnology um, programs mm -hmm. uh, in the country. Uh, so, I mean, like my advisors, they are like amazing. Uh, I, I learned a lot from there. So basically, I, they gave me a tour of the lab, and which it was, the building was brand new, just like uh, two years old. Yeah. So all the labs were like all brand new, all new equipment. I was like, oh, this is amazing. And the same day, I what it essentially was going to be in the future my advisor, I show some of my homemade baby food jars with like the uh, aluminum foil on top. I show you, hey, I show him some pictures of it, and he hired me in the place. In oh, place. really? Yeah, he hired me in place, and then from there I started working on their lab and I made my career. And that, after I graduate, um, I got hired uh, in uh, as plant cell technology, and they hired me here. Um, I mean, now we here, so, <laughs> so that's pretty much kind of my story. It's kind of goes into a lot more detail, but I just don't want to make it that long. But. Yeah, and now you're teaching other people how to do tissue culture too. Yeah, yeah, so now it's like a, a lot of people are interested, so kind of tissue culture is like, for me, it's not a job, it's like a hobby, mm -hmm. right? So I enjoy growing plants, so there's something that I know there are a lot of people that maybe uh, stuck in a job they may be going to like a career and they may be stuck in, in, in like a job that they may not enjoy as much mm -hmm. or they may be just um, have a hobby or growing plants and they can learn how to do tissue culture like uh, very quickly like in two days the master classes are only two days and basically it goes to pretty much everything I have learned in the last 13 years so um, the goal of this class is to be able to 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 be able to get a, a new career, a new start. So with like two days, be able to um, to take some plans from like a completely beginner. Somebody has has never done it can basically start making media, start taking cutting some plants, and start making tissue culture on their own. So yeah. they can either do it as a hobby or they can do it as a, as a career. Yeah, well, I'm really excited. I'm going to be in the class tomorrow for anyone watching this yes. wondering, but I'm super pumped up for the class. I remember like when I was first trying to learn about tissue culture, like there are so few resources available. Yeah, yeah. So I had your videos, obviously. And that was only two years ago, right? Yeah, So exactly. you just can imagine what was like 13 years ago. 
there's probably like nothing. And they then, less than much. I think I like mentioned this a lot, but the book Plants from Test Tubes, like mm -hmm. that was like in addition to your videos and that book, those two things are kind of like how I was able to learn. Oh how yes, to do it I, I have that book. It's an amazing book. Yeah, um, I have it. I have it. It has helped me, helped me a lot. Yeah, we were saying there's just like so few tissue culture resources besides plant cell text videos and then there's kind of you can find and i'm sure a lot of people watching this have googled like tissue culture and searched that on youtube and found all sorts of like random shaky videos shot in like 240p um, yes. but it's awesome like the transparency that you guys show about tissue culture yeah well, well thank you yeah i mean this is something that um i never thought we we're going to be doing i mean i'm very camera shot person uh so i mean you go back to the very like the very first videos I don't like to see them because they are like, they are hard to, Mine to watch. Mine are the same. I was actually considering deleting my old videos because before I did tissue culture, right. I made like really bad videos just about plants where I'd like unbox plants or mm -hmm. talk about a certain plant and like I kind of want to delete them, but I don't I know. I mean, it's kind of good memories, right? Yeah, and it's nice to see like how far you've come and I'm sure like I'll watch my videos a year from now like the ones that I'm making currently and mm -hmm. I'll be like, oh God, these suck. <laughs> yeah, it's always like an improvement. Uh, we're trying to always kind of improve here as well. So it's a, uh, it is a fun process that we are kind of looking at and we have pretty good response from, from people watching. So what do you, enjoy this it. is such a like unrelated question, but what do you think is like the hardest plant that you've tried to tissue culture? Carnivoro or carnivorous plants. The ones you started with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so for me, uh, so back when I, I can tell you like on research it's like a, they would give me a plan and I try to to get in tissue culture and I try to come up with my own protocols and uh, because that's another thing like I have like there is uh, something that I have like um, the ability to be able to tell when a plan is ready is sterile and ready to go mm -hmm. um, so I have people have challenged me with like a certain plans like hey get this in tissue quarter and I have success, very good success. But carnivorous plants, they still give me the biggest stall. Like uh, some of the droceras, those are probably one of the hardest plants to, to get in tissue quarter. The, the, when I'm talking about like tissue, if I'm talking seeds, those are very easy, but yeah. usually tissue, those are some of the hardest plants to get in tissue quarter. I have some sundews right now and a couple biocouplers oh, that nice. are doing okay, but I'm trying to get them just to like grow a little bit larger so I can take them out of tissue culture. But those will be like my first carnivorous plants. I've oh, actually really? never owned one before. Really? How, how did you got the, the culture from? Did you was already in, in culture? Yeah, I bought, so I bought them in tissue culture to, I was going to acclimate them for an acclimation mm -hmm. video that I was making, but when I got them in the mail, they just seemed like a little too small to be able to survive outside of tissue culture. Right. So I was like, okay, I'll just subculture these into some new media and see if they grow a little bit. So I had some biocouplers, so we're doing a run. I'm probably going to make a vlog about it oh, in yeah, the next couple of weeks. That, that's yeah. awesome. That so for the, from the plants that you're working with, like, um, which one is it? you think like the the ones you are most excited about or like if you have a one that you really want to work with but you haven't had, got a chance yet so i have some cacti and succulents that i've been excited to try tissue culturing okay. i do have some like variegated fairy castle cactus right now in tissue culture that's starting to grow little new cacti from like the mary stomatic oh, cell awesome. spots that look really neat but they're growing super slow so i'm excited to just like try more cacti and succulents those were the plants that like originally got me into plants back in like 2017 2018 so. yeah that's awesome so yeah we're going to do some of those uh, uh tomorrow uh so those are uh i mean it's kind of interesting that you say those because uh, i was going to thinking maybe like uh one of those uh hard to culture plants because i mean at least for me those are some of the the easiest really to well, tissue that's, culture, that's so. reassuring to hear oh yeah so no, that, that's good <laughs> Well, a lot of people, that's actually a common question that I get on my channel are like, is this possible to do with cacti and succulents? I think because people view them as such slow growing plants, mm -hmm. but they still grow callus tissue like the rest of plants and tissue culture. You showed me some right before filming this actually. Oh, yes. That were really yes, cool. Sure. So, so yeah, that's what I'm excited to try out. Okay. And what is kind of like, let's say kind of the questions that you get like more frequent on like on your channel? 
Um, so, like, my videos are more for, like, just really introductory okay. level tissue culture, because yeah. I'm still learning as well, which mm -hmm. I think some people don't realize when they watch my channel. Yes. Um, but I get pretty simple questions, a lot about, like, sterile technique and sterile procedure, okay. because, like, if you don't have a lab background, like, I don't, mm -hmm. that's kind of a common, like, it feels mysterious, like, this thing called, like, sterile procedure that's kind of intimidating, yes. so... A lot of questions about about those types of things yeah that's awesome now um i guess i didn't ask you like which one was the first plan that you teach a quarter and was it successful no it was no. a very no wait, it was just a hoya carry eye and i didn't realize apparently hoyas are kind of slower slow to grow in tissue oh, culture yes, yes um and it didn't do anything and also like everything that i tried to tissue culture for the first two months of doing it was contaminated it was like a just a biological hazard in my house now what <laughs> what make you like keep going because i mean at least for me i was really lucky that i was able to to get it right on the first try so <laughs> um though that, that kind of <laughs> keeps me going like i was like oh this is working so it's exciting like i can keep going but i mean there is that's a big problem with a lot of like new new people that they try to teach a quarter and that's kind of i won't say it's a mistake but it's kind of something that I kind of try to advise people when they start to doing tissue culture is that try to do work with easy plants. Yeah. So kind of some of my easy plants I always try to I like I always mention is like African violets. Yes, those are um, so easy. And like I, aloe vera or succulents. I'm pretty sure you can even like a lot of people are kind of skeptical about the hormones and stuff or people mm -hmm. have kids and they don't want to have like a bottle of TDC in their fridge that their kid's going to mm -hmm. accidentally drink. But like African violets, I'm pretty sure you can successfully tissue culture with no hormones. Too, yeah, those are really some cool. like easy plants. But like I say, some of, um, I mean, we are all excited about about growing plants. So a lot of people trying to see tissue culture to grow their favorite plants, which a lot of the times is like your super expensive variegated uh, whatever plants. Yeah, and so you don't want that to be like the first like, one that you cut up and then. Yeah, you just I see a lot of people. Plant. They the first plant they try to teach a quarter is like three hundred dollar plant, oh. which is, uh, <laughs> I mean, um, it's kind of a risk. So that's why I say always try to do um, inexpensive, easy to teach a quarter plants. Where if it doesn't work, which that's another thing is like for me it worked first time, but most people it may not be the case yeah, so like me. uh not even the second or the third or the fourth attempt uh, it may take a little bit more uh more practice um it is something that you always have to keep practice to to get better uh but it's like you kind of a lot of people can get discouraged so kind of what kind of advice like do you have for those like people like uh maybe it's not working and like uh what what can they do? I would say like one thing that really has helped me and part of this is because I'm making YouTube videos while I work, but if you film what you do and then you have contamination, it kind of helps to be able to like go back and look at what you did. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you'll notice like, oh, I was putting my hand and my arm and my sleeve over yes. top of the Petri mm -hmm. dish and there was maybe contamination that occurred because of that or things like that. Right. So I'd say like filming it really helped me get better at tissue culture, funnily enough. Um, but obviously like not everyone's like filming everything that they do for YouTube. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, I think it has also helped me a lot that I'm recording, even though like I yeah. always, uh, at least uh, I was always recording and even before YouTube, because like I say, I'm really camera shy. So, but I always like to have like uh, the recording, like in my personal YouTube channel, uh, which I have no subscribers. But I do have a couple of videos where I just have a tissue quarter, but it's like no audio, no, no talking. It's just like... It's like ASMR. It, but it's no. just the flow. ASMR, but it's just it's the a, flow. It's, it's, it's the, all the, uh, the noise from the lamina flow. Yeah. But it's just like <laughs> me just moving plants around, which actually, you know what, we'd be surprised. But a lot of the, our best, uh, like TikToks or Instagrams, are just me... In the hood, just moving, I've moving been plants around. I've seen more of this lately. Yeah, those from are you guys. those are great because those are easy to make and they get people like um, seeing the process that kind of they like to see. But it's like I mean, those are some of my old videos. I'm actually maybe uh, well, they are too old. They are really low quality, but to release them. But um, I mean, I probably want to record more of that content. Like it's good for like short content. Yeah, I'm gonna steal your idea and start. Steal my idea. That's fine. It's it's always it's always good to. <laughs> To have any ideas well anyways um hope you have enjoyed today we have a thank you for being here lauren she's going to be here with us uh the whole weekend um now where can people find you 
So my YouTube channel is Plants in Jars, and my Instagram is Plants in Jars underscore Tissue Culture. Tissue Culture. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, Bye, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you are enjoying these Tissue Culture videos, make sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you are interested in conducting your own Tissue Culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantsafetechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use code FP10 for 10% off on your first purchase.